At 5.30 a.m. on January 16, Police Captain Shalong Chai Chapin, Deputy Inspector of Yan Ta Kao Police Station, was informed of the discovery of a body that had been stabbed in a rubber plantation in Mu 5, Yan Ta Kao Subdistrict, Yan Ta Kao District, Trang Province. Superintendent of Yan Ta Kao Police Station, forensic officers, physicians, and staff from the Rumjai Yan Ta Kao Resuscitation Association, then went to the scene to investigate. Upon arriving at the scene in a rubber plantation, approximately 150 meters from the road, the officers found the body of 78-year-old Mrs. C lying face down in a pool of blood. She was wearing a rubber tapping suit and had several sharp wounds on her face, including a severe wound. Additionally, there were multiple bruises on her body. The officers found a head torch, rubber slitting knife, whetstone, barrel, and the deceased's hat scattered around the body and kept them as evidence. A bicycle belonging to the deceased was also found parked nearby. The investigation revealed that the deceased, Mrs. C., lived alone in a house about one kilometer away from the scene of the accident, as her husband had passed away earlier and her children had moved to work in other provinces. She had taken up the profession of rubber tapping. It is believed that she had been cutting rubber in a garden near her house before the incident and had then ridden her bicycle to another garden where the accident occurred. It is suspected that the perpetrator had been waiting there and had attacked and killed Mrs. C. after a disagreement. A witness, a rubber tapper in a nearby plantation, reported hearing a woman scream around 2 a.m., but was unable to identify who it was. Additionally, local residents reported hearing dogs barking for more than two hours before relatives and neighbors became suspicious and searched the area, finding Mrs. C.'s body. Furthermore, it was known that the deceased had an argument with her neighbor, Mrs. Yom, the previous evening over an outstanding debt. Most recently, reporters reported today, Jan 17, 2023, that the Yan Ta Kao police station interrogated Ms. Ne for more than eight hours before letting the headman of the Yan Ta Kao subdistrict come to talk until Ms. Ne confessed that she had killed Aunt C. and said that she often borrowed Aunt C's money approximately 200 to 300 baht per time, totaling 5,500 baht. Over the past one year, Aunt Sri has not been returned. Aunt Sri frequently collects debts. As well as bringing the debt to talk to the neighbors that he borrowed money and did not return it therefore became angry and resentful therefore planning to go out to Aunt Sri's rubber plantation along with holding a knife to cut rubber one book, claiming to cut rubber when she saw Aunt C cut the rubber therefore directly attack the body with resentment hoping to warn not to tell the story that owes the debt to others using only fists, elbows, and things that can be picked up in the area to cause the crime before coming back to destroy evidence at the scene until she was arrested by the police, said Mrs. Arom. Initially, the police did not believe in Ms. Aram's testimony. That there is no use of weapons due to examining the condition of the wound on the face of the deceased it was found that the wound was sharp and smooth. Which must certainly be caused by the use of weapons? Colonel Poonsak Sengzi, superintendent of Yan Ta Kao Police Station, said that after the incident, the police had collected almost all of the evidence at the scene and almost all forensic evidence indicates that the suspect is the real perpetrator, but did not refuse for several hours, until finally surrendering and confessing. While Mrs. Bampa Naranrit, 75, Aunt Sri's sister, who died, said that in the past, she had known that the perpetrator had borrowed Aunt Sri's money several times, about 200 to 300 baht, but never received the money back. But lately, Aunt Sri didn't give because the perpetrator owes the old debt and never gave it back until it may cause the perpetrators to become angry. In the past, Mrs. Arom used to bring fake gold and pledge it to Aunt Sri. But Aunt Sri came to know later. By Aunt Sri to help giving rice and water to Nong Arom all the time. After knowing that the perpetrator was the one who killed the benefactor, I felt sad. It shouldn't have been done like this, said Mrs. Bampin. From a criminal history check, Mrs. Arom knowing that he had been convicted in the case of possession and distribution of narcotics in the amount of 30 tablets, he was imprisoned for five years and was released during the year 2002, where the police took him in for further questioning, and is in the process of submitting the petition to the court to issue an arrest warrant to prosecute the law on the allegation, intentionally killing another person.